Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a WebEx session to conduct your class online. So everyone can get a WebEx account. So the first thing you have to get your account with PPKT. Just go to campus online, then you will see the Hebahan WebEx here. Then you will get the detail, the details here, how to get your account. So please do the necessary, follow, follow the step, contact the BPKT so that they can set up your account. So once you get your account, use your account uh, credential, the username, the password, everything. Uh, you have to use, I think, the USM email, the usm.my, and whatever the password uh, given. Then go to... Uh, Webex website, so you type webex.com. So this is the address, and this is the website of Webex. Then the first thing uh, you have to, once you have your account now, you can simply click join, or for, for student, I think they can uh, click join, or, or the participant, but for the teacher or the lecturer, you are the host, you want to host, uh, online class or online session so you can click host then you'll get this screen so this is where you put in your username uh, the email in this case this is actually the recent email and click next then you have two options here choose this one second one USM dot my uh, slash uh, hyphen my dot webex dot com click continue then put in your password and click next then you will get this window this is where you will set up and schedule your online class for example let's say you want to run an online class at the same time that you have uh, based on the timetable. Let's say tomorrow, Monday, I want to have a class at 10 a.m., 10 in the morning. Then I can click schedule here. Then you can put the title of the class, let's say um, class or you can put the title of the class, maybe tomorrow, lecture four, what's the title? Introduction to Theology. And this is meeting password, automatically generated. And this is where you set up the and table, uh, sorry, the session for, uh, let's say tomorrow is 16. And my class tomorrow will start at 10 a.m. So make sure you choose the right a.m. or p.m. to make a mistake here. Then, okay, what's the duration? You can put one hour, two hours or whatever. It's not really critical actually. Then click done. Uh, before that, yeah, I yeah, click done. So you have set up the session. Make sure this uh, the Malaysian time, Kuala Lumpur, Singapore here is uh, selected. Then you can put in the email of all the participants or your students, separate by comma or semicolon. If you have a, maybe uh, you have you have a list of your email, you can put in here. So automatically, the link to this session will be sent to their email. Alternatively, if you don't if you don't want to put the email, you can click schedule. Uh, there's some uh, advanced option here. If you click the advanced option, you can set the agenda, the audio connection, and, and so on. This is optional. Uh, otherwise, you can put in uh, you can click schedule.
It's a bit slow. Okay, so now you get to this page. This is a session that you have set up. And of course, uh, you want to start the meeting, you can start the meeting, but the session is uh, scheduled for tomorrow. So all you need to do now, you get a meeting information here. So you copy the link, copy the link here, and copy the meeting number, as well as the password. So these are three pieces of information that you need to share with your students. So you can share the information through you know, WhatsApp, if you have the WhatsApp group for your class, or you can uh, send an email, or you can also paste this information in your e-learn for that particular lecture or for that particular week or for that particular topic. So you tell the students that you know, for every class, you will find the WebEx session, the link to the WebEx session, in, the, in our eLearn platform. So there are many ways how you can share the link. So the student will receive this in their email or their WhatsApp. All they need to do is to click the link and join the session. And for the first time, they have to install the WebEx plugin, which uh, very fast and only do it once. They have to do it once. But the next time when they click the link, they will enter into the session uh, directly. So basically, that is how to set up the session and how to use the WebEx that you have to, um, maybe we can get your Pinilaras to show the, the how to use WebEx when you start the meeting, how you will run the session, okay? I'll show you in, in the next video how to start the session that you have uh, schedule, then uh, how to operate the WebEx. I will see you in the, the other video, another video.